Hi guys, Krishnan Kanak here. Happy New Year to all my viewers. Um, I'm coming to you today with um, my 2020 year in review and my crochet plans for 2021. Um, so for 2020, there were a bunch of projects I wanted to get through. I did not get through all of them, but I did get through some of them. And there were a few um, other crochet projects actually that I did that were not on my list. Um, so yeah, so I actually got through 13 projects this year. Well, one project involved multiple items, but I'm counting them all separately because I crocheted separate items. Um, I actually probably could have crocheted more, but I did slack a lot this year. Um, there was just a lot of time when I just didn't feel like crocheting. And um, with the whole lockdown and social distancing, I actually got back into jigsaw puzzles, which I was really into when I was younger and I hadn't done in a while. And then I dug some old jigsaw puzzles out and got re-addicted, so I spent a lot of time doing those instead of crochet. Um, and I'm going to be spending a lot of time doing those again in 2021 because I have a lot of puzzles right now that I have not done. Because um, when I started doing puzzles, uh, my mother-in-law also started doing puzzles and she started giving me all the puzzles that she was done with. And she also gifted me some puzzles for Christmas and whatnot, so I have a pile of puzzles that I have to get through. Um, but I also have a pile of crochet I would like to get to. So, and that is what this video is about. So, um, for 2020, um, I wanted to do the, um, I don't know if it was called Child Poncho, but it was the red hooded poncho from one of the Crochet World magazines. I don't have any of my projects here um, to show, but I have shown them all in previous videos. So if you go back um, and look at my videos from this year, I only did a handful of them this year. Um, so it wouldn't be too hard to find, but I did um, a red poncho from a special Christmas edition of Crochet World magazine from a few years ago um, for my younger daughter. Um, I finished a dress for my older daughter from a Vanna White crochet book. Um, and I made um, the dress for my dish soap. I was planning to make one in just like regular all year round colors and one in Christmas. I only got a Christmas one done. So I may make one in regular colors this year. Either a dish soap dress or apron. I've seen patterns for both on YouTube. Um, and then, so that was three. And then I also did um, that uh, rainbow of hope that I hung in my front window when we went into lockdown, which obviously was not on my list because when I made this list, we had no idea any of that was going to happen. So, but I did that and I made a few Easter ornaments for my front door, um, which consisted of, um, I crocheted a chick, which the original pattern was a, a chick hot pad, but I just crocheted it out of acrylic and hung it in my window. And then uh, I did four eggs, was it four or five eggs? I think it was four eggs. And they were supposed to be coasters, but I just, again, crocheted them out of acrylic and hung them in my window. Um, and then I did the little Amigurumi Hamlet for my friend's birthday. Um, I did a patchwork puppy from one of the Crochet World magazines. And I made um, a blanket and cocoon for my friend's baby. Um, she just had her baby um, in the first week of December and she took some really cute photos of him in the Santa cocoon. They were great. Uh, but yeah, so the rainbow Easter stuff, Hamlet, patchwork puppy, and the baby items obviously were not on my list, but I made all of those in 2020, so yay. Um, and then, so there were a few things on my list that I never got to. Um, there were two items actually that were carried over from the last two years that I still didn't get to. They were Christmas items. Um, I still want to make a tissue box cover for Christmas. And I still have the, a pattern for an amigurumi Christmas mouse with a Christmas um, dress and apron holding a whisk that I wanted to make for my kitchen. But I again, I never got to it. Um, so they are on my list again for 2021. I don't know if I'm gonna get to them. We will see. Um, fishtail afghan for my daughter. I never got to it last year, but I just started uh, on that a couple of weeks ago, but then my hook, or uh, I crocheted too small and I didn't have a hook 
uh, size bigger so I just ordered one from Amazon it just came a couple of days ago so I am going to restart the fishtail afghan very soon um, and in one of my Christmas magazines there was um, a doll where you flip the dress over and then the other side is a bear um, and I was planning to make that for my kids but I never got to that so um, I don't know if I want to add that to this year's list again I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to that um, there was also a child jacket called the berry cute jacket um, it was like a, a jacket with like bare ears on the hood I think and um, it was in a book I have but I never got to it and now I think it might be too small for my younger daughter so I probably won't get to that and then there was also a pair of sheep mittens in a book that I completely forgot about because I did not go back and reference my notes at all <laughs> last year I just crocheted what I wanted without checking my notes so but I want to get to those sheet mittens eventually so for my 2021 projects uh, oh and there was also the shawl that I started knitting I only got a couple of inches in before I stopped um, and I'm gonna continue it you know whenever I feel like it I'll knit a few rows here and there finish it when I finish it I guess um, I only have a couple of inches done, as I said, and it needs to be, I think, around 50 or 52 inches. So that's going to take me a while. Um, so that is on the list again. I'll just keep working on it here and there. Um, the fishtail afghan is on the list. Um, I also have on my list um, all the sheet mittens I just mentioned. And then um, a stand mixer cover from the Twinkie Chan book. I actually happen to have the book here next to me. Um, I think I had it bookmarked too, actually. Is it here? No, not that one. Or was it? No. I don't think I bookmarked it because it was near the beginning of the book, I think. Yes. The Strawberry Shortcake Stand Mixer cover. I do have a stand mixer and that cover is super cute. Those strawberries are going to be a pain in the arse. <laughs> um, but I want to get to that and I did a search through my stash a week or two ago and found out that I happen to have all of the colors in my stash so that's on my list um, there's a pigtail hat that I had on my list a couple of years ago that I never got to um, I can't remember where I had the I think I bookmarked the pattern on my computer uh, it was for a child's hat with like holes in the top for their pigtails to come out I still want to make one of those um, the jingling ponytail holder I have in a book I forget which book but it's basically a ponytail holder um, with bells stitched to it and I do have a package of bells in my craft stash so I eventually want to make that I completely forgot about it this year or I would have made it and it would have been super cute for Christmas um, uh, so the Christmas items I mentioned previously are on my list I also have other Christmas here written on my list because as you remember you might remember if you've been watching me a while um, last year when I did my uh, year in review I also did some uh, videos on um, I have a giant list of uh, projects from books and magazines and printed patterns and etc that I own I went through all of my patterns and I wrote a list of the ones that I do eventually want to do at some point in my life um, and I have a bunch of Christmas items on that list so I might get to some of those this year if I remember to keep checking my list <laughs> um, so I have other Christmas on my 2021 list uh, out of those patterns and then I also have play food on my list because I do have a bunch of books of amigurumi food and last year I said I eventually want to make my children play food and I never got to it um, lockdown would have been a great time to have that play food but I never got around to crocheting it so this year I want to try to make at least a couple of things um, I do have a pattern somewhere for a sandwich like this two slices of bread and like cheese and lettuce and I don't remember what else was on it but I at least want to make something like that um, yeah so that is all I have on my list um, and I might add more things later 
who knows, but that is what I want to get to for sure in 2021. Um, I may come back halfway through the year to do a um, progress update video. Um, I was, I did say I might do that last year and I never did, so we will see what happens this year. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I think that's all I have to talk about today. Um, let me know what your crochet plans are for this coming year, if you have any. Um, also, let me know down below if you'd be interested in me doing a video about my puzzles, because that's another hobby of mine, and I do have uh, quite a puzzle collection now. Not a huge one, but not a small one either. So, if anyone would like to see my puzzles, that might be a video I might be interested in doing. So let me know if there's any interest in that. And yeah, I think that's all I have to talk about today. So I hope everybody um, had a good start to the year, to 2021. And happy crafting. <laughs>